Welcome to the Global Satellite Corporation. For programming, please select Channel, then push Enter. Come here, you sexy orange. You juicy thing, you. I'm gonna peel you and get every bit of your juiciness. Come on. Come on. Give it up. Come on. You wanna give it up to me? Come on. Don't fight me. Come on. Come. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Give me another segment, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on. Give me that juiciness. Come on. Oh, you feel so good. Mmm. Come on. Come on. Give it up, baby. Come on. Give me some more. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, come on. I'm gonna strip you naked and then eat all your healthy vitamin C juices that you carry, baby. Come on. Oh, give it up. Come on. Give it to Papa, baby. Come on. Give me that peel. Come on. Come on. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Ooh, that feels so good. Oh, yeah. Come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, you make me drool with anticipation. Come on. Not much left. You're almost naked. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Don't fight me. Come on. There's just a little bit left. Don't fight. Don't fight me. <coughs> oh, yeah. Come to Papa, baby. Come to Papa. <laughs> The Florida Orange. It's not just for the bedroom anymore. Try them in the kitchen. Washington today, George W. Bush fired the remaining liberal Supreme Court justices, and he plans to replace them with his old Yale threat buddies. No! No way! Are you ready for this? Bush sold Alaska's Denali Preserve to Accidental Petroleum, citing the law of eminent domain. Oh no! Dear God, no! No! In a lighter note, Bush admitted the reason he missed the summit was he went bass fishing that weekend with, as he put it, some old buddies of mine from the pharmaceutical days. Can you believe this guy? Oh boy, that's it. I am moving to Australia. Hey, you, had about all you can stand? Oh, have I ever. Are things looking so bad, you just want to pack it in? You heard me. What, am I alone here? You've tried them all, haven't you? You know you have. Haldol, Prozac, Zoloft, even lithium. And nothing's worked, has it? You got it, pal. With that jerk in the White House, this country's gonna need something after a while. Trank City. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. You need damn it all. Damn it all? That's right, damn it all. You see, Damodol doesn't rely on a lot of harsh, heavy drugs. No, Damodol's the answer from the past for the problems of the future. Damodol's unique process relies on a base of 100% pure grain alcohol with a mix of heavy syrup of laudanum. Yes, laudanum, the doctor's opate choice from the 19th century. And it seems appropriate, because that seems where we're headed, at least politically. Go out and get it today. That's Damodol. Gee, you know something? Hey, man, that can work. I'm going out and getting some. Thanks. 
Warning, not to be used while driving or you could end up a dim-witted Republican chief executive. Damn it all, another fine product of Globico Pharmaceuticals. Trash, garbage, swill. Oh, what do we got here? Another satellite dish ad. Nuts to that. I'm going to sit here till my ass eats this damn couch and watch my damn cable. Satellite dish. Cable. It's all the same. Nothing but trash, infomercials, and those guys. And I hate those guys. Loonies in the house. Loonies on my tube. It's a zoo here for... Bruno? Who's Bruno? It is I, your dear brother Stanley Waddlesworth. And guess where I've been? Shoplifting at the Bronx Zoo? <laughs> no, no, you old cad. I've been on safari for the last two months. I've been hacking through jungles and climbing mountains. Say hello to my friend George. Hi, George. Most incredible. I met George while climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. He was clinging to a bush, and his family had been killed by poachers. I simply had to take him with me. He's a brilliant little chap, knows how to clean the house, clean the post. And he makes the most extremely delicious omelets I've ever tasted. Yeah, and he reeks, too. He stinks. He sheds. I'll bet he ain't house trained. But, you know, I still like him better than I like those guys. Howdy! And welcome to the marker room of the Grand Ole Opry. Tonight we are privileged to have Billy Red Cartridge and Grandpa Doc on keyboards. Give it up for them, y'all! some sweet tracks. Sure. One, two, one, two, three. Late last night I was watching the tube and I saw the most incredible thing. It seems we voted in a man who was just a retarded machine. Well, he's from down in Texas where he loves to flip that switch. There ain't gonna be no recount to get us out of this. He's George W., George W., hip, 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 hooray. Well, he's George W., George W., hip, 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 hooray. Well, he walks, he talks, he smiles, he frowns. He does what he can. He's George W. and he's a compassionate conservative man. Oh, what's the deal with these funny ballots? You have heard him say, if it weren't for all of this fuzzy math, I'd be president today. Oh, come on, let's go, America. Let me work for you. And then I can go and check on Cheney down in the ICU. He's George W., George W., hip, 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 hooray. Well, he's George W., George W., hip, 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 hooray. Well, he walks, he talks, he smiles, he frowns, he does what he can. Yeah. He's George W., a compassionate conservative man. Well, we got us a problem right here in the USA. The economy's booming. Everybody got jobs. How can I save the day? Well, I think I got a solution. This will surely save the day. Let's ban abortion and pray in the schools and everything will be okay. George W, George W, hip, 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 hooray. Everybody now, George W, George W, hip, 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 hooray. He walks, he talks, he smiles, he frowns, does what he can. He's George W, a compassionate conservative man. All right, Opry House, I love you, George 
tell you. Love y'all. BSN News. All news, no BS. Good evening. The transformation's complete. The Clintons are gone. Hillary's off to the Senate, and Bill is free to hit on any trailer park trash he feels free to do so. But what about Washington, D.C.? What can anyone expect from a group of tired old men, some dating back to the Ford and Reagan administrations, a couple of youngsters untried, untested in the sea of cruel, meat-grinding congressmen in Washington, D.C.? And what about this administration? Well, let's go to BSN's own Ned Sterner and Nancy Stryker in our new segment called The Bush Leagues. How you doing tonight, Ned and Nancy? Thank you, bud. At this juncture, it's tough to tell, but the one thing we can be sure of is a complete dulling down of the whole scene here in Washington. <sighs> dulling? What are you talking about, dulling? You must be talking about W's slacking off at Yale University. No, no, that bus left town last week. What I'm talking about is a complete, total lack of fun. You know, no matter what you could say about Bill's political legacy, the man was simply fun to cover. I mean, not inhaling, trailer park trice, trouser dropping, cigars. I mean, the man was fun. The most we can say about this new boy is that he had a thing for the nose candy back in the day, and maybe he takes an occasional drink. Not exactly Animal House, if you get my drift. I get your drift, Ned. Um, what's your thoughts on this uh, subject, Nancy? Well, gentlemen, we're in for some wild times, so I would advise that you hold on to your hats. That's all I have to say. <laughs> that's a pretty uh, wild statement to say about it administration that's going to be downing a lot of Maalox and using a lot of Ben Gay when Congress gets through with them. Uh, what, do you, what do you mean by wild times, Nancy? Experience, bud. I've been on this beat for a while now, and there's one thing I can tell you about Washington. It leaves a Jekyll and Hyde feeling with people. And the dynamic here is simply historic. Historic? Historic? Think about it. In one administration, we have a Bush, a Dick, and a colon. Now, gentlemen, that is what I call wild times. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the new administration. <laughs> a bush, a dick. <laughs> welcome to Wendy, your cosmic astrologer, with your host, Wendy Burblestein. Hi. I'm Wendy, your cosmic astrologer. This month's sign is Aquarius, the sign of the water bearer. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Peace, love, dove, beads, bells, and incense. And Hare Krishnas, all you groovy freaks. What's the matter with you? This month, I have a letter from Jane Eyre from Parsippany, New Jersey. Jane writes, Dear Wendy, my boyfriend does not believe in Valentine's Day. What? Oh my God. What should I do? Oh my God, we've got a severe problem. Jane, number one, dump him. Him, dump the loser. And number two, big, fat, round diamonds and a wedding date. What's the matter with you, Jane? You've been watching Wendy, your cosmic astrologer, where your future is always dealt the wrong hand. George, like I'm telling you, uh, Irv, <laughs> well, he's an ex-Pizza King slash race car driver, a real professional, at least that's his latest personality, and Bruno, well, 
He's the world's only mobbed up Green Party candidate, and now he's known west of the Rockies as Lord Stanley Wellsworth. I'm telling you, between the two of them, I've lost two small fortunes. My marriage is probably next. What's that, George? Hey, I'm telling you, you can try to remote, but all you're going to get is infomercials and those guys. And we hate those guys. Sid, who the hell are you talking to? My new best buddy over here, George. And you know, he could use a beer. Didn't you hear him talking to you? He wants a beer. Something seems wrong, and I'm so twisted! Spaced. Wow! There's just so much of it out there. Our mission to uh, seek out new life, new broads, those fine highs and low buys. Where the hell are we? Nuts lost again. Where the hell's the OnStar button on this damn contraption? Captain, our sensors during routine maintenance have found the presence of a Horta. What do you want from me, Spork? Pay the bitch off, put her in the transporter, and send her back to planet Pimp. Not whore, Horta, Captain. An alien creature that moves through rock by secreting... Acid? Whoa! Not that kind of acid, Captain. It's a form of concentrated hydrochloric acid that would eat more holes into the ship than a cat house in Shanghai. <laughs> Why don't you just take the bitch, throw her in the transporter, zap her out into the middle of outer space on high dispersal, yes. That'll teach her from ever stopping me from having my mushrooms. Yes, yes, my mushrooms. Sporky! My God! You look terrible! You look like a lizard! Is everything all right? I'm in the first stages of prong far, Captain. Aha! Uh -huh. The legendary Vulcan Hornies, eh? No girl safe in the universe when the green, mean Vulcan machine is out there, eh, Sporky? <laughs> in a nutshell, Captain, I request immediate transport to my home planet unless you would like me to spew all my bodily fluids all over the deck. Well, um, good luck there, Splunky. And if uh, you do it, name it after me. <laughs> hey, Lieutenant Lenora. Call uh, Vulcan High Command and let them know that the uh, green worm god is speeding through on his way home. <laughs> I, sir, not the best way to spend a mushroom buzz, is it, sir? Hmm, what a day. My science officer is off on a boner quest, and I got a hoarder eating through the hull of the ship. And I am definitely wasted. Mm. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, really wasted. Oh, computer. Working. How do you handle a hoarder? I'm sorry, Captain. I'm rather busy at the moment. I'm interfacing with the ship's food replicator. Nonsense. That's ridiculous. What do you really mean, computer? All right, all right. I'm screwing the toaster. You're not the only humpmeister on this bucket of bolts, you know. Ew! Toasters? I can see the warp drive, but toasters? Yeah, I know, but the toaster is so hot, 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 hot. Star Command. You know, they buy these computers from Radio Hut, just so they can save a few credits here and there. Oh, my God. Hey, Lenora, why don't you and me go down to the galley and uh, throw in one of those uh, pizzas uh, with my special mushrooms? Because I really like mushrooms. Oh, God, I love mushrooms. Groovy, yes. Captain. Love those mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Will the Horda eat the crew out of ship and home? Will Spork finally get to wet the willy? And what's the deal with these mushrooms? Find out next time on Star Trek! Good evening, friends. This is your pal, Crazy Urine Drop Me Off. Come from a long line of Russian cab driver. Some things change, some things never change in Russia. One thing for sure never change in Russia is gold! Freeze the balls of a big old Russian bear! Anyway, today we have a hot deal for you. These specials. Take a look. Da, you recognize? Is number one rifle in the world, AK-47. Rugged, 
accurate, makes very distinctive sound. Many of these beauties can be yours for low, low price. Order a few barrels of fuel oil. It's easy, yes? We strike deal. Attention all capitalist pigs! How about one of these babies for your next boardroom meeting, huh? Lots of room. Safe, reliable, good made in Russia. So, just remember to weld the bomb bay door shut. Well, then maybe not. You could downsize corporate meeting. You say you want to be energy independent. Well, today for you, we have enriched uranium, finest quality. Good to heat the home or to make little party papers that go boom in the night. <laughs> Just a little joke from Crazy Yuri. It's like someone once said, every time wind blows, someone does good. <laughs> Especially Yuri. <laughs> anyway, you come down to Yuri's house of surpluses. You want it, we got it, you get it. Come today. Yes, friends. They all talk about Crazy Yuri's House of Surplus. You want, we got, you get. Crazy Yuri's, another fine member, Globachevsky Worldwide. Sid, I'm glad to see that you and George have hit it off so well. But don't you think you're spending a little too much time with him? Oh, not at all, Lord Stanley. You were right about him. He's smart as a whip. Why, the insight I've gotten from this little fella about art, life, philosophy, it's more than I ever got in school. You should talk to him more often. Ah, uh, talk to him? What, am I alone here? Yeah, talk to him. George, tell him the true key to peace of mind. Gloria, I think you're right. I think it's time for Plan B. Call the wagon? Yeah, while he's still happy. Well, so That's it. Why don't you get it? I'll keep George company. All right, but make sure he's all right so he shouldn't worry while I'm gone. What? Yeah, we're from Bellevue. We're here to pick up the ape man. You want to hold him? This guy's big. Help me with the straps. No. Well, guys, it's just you, me, George. And my own guy. Thank God. I thought we'd never get rid of them. Ours next. Come here, big stuff. Joe, do you have a quote on an incredibly enormous realty yet? Uh, no, Mr. Fallis Head. You only gave me the applications and loss runs not more than a hour ago. You mean you haven't even spoke to the underwriters yet or reserved on markets? Joan, this is a million dollar account. Don't you know we are the biggest, largest, and greatest brokerage firm in the country? What can our client expect? What kind of service do you think he wants? Joan, I want that quote yesterday. And by the way, during your lunch hour, drop off my dry cleaning. Hmm. He must he be must on, be the, on rag. the rag. What, what a, a prick. prick. Hi, Joni. You're doing such a great job. And remember, don't rush on that incredibly enormous realty quote. We want to get it right the first time. And by the way, if you keep up the good work, you'll be in line for a huge raise in promotion. Did I leave my dry cleaning around here? I must remember to bring it in today. I don't, I don't get, get it. it. First he's a real <laughs> and then two hours later he's Mother Teresa. What's a confused corporate worker be to do? Well, Joan, fret no more. New from Globico Pharmaceuticals, a revolutionary new gum that puts two, two personality moods back into one. Joan, CFO of the incredibly enormous realty wants this Quote facts to him in 10 minutes. Tell him you've got it, goddammit. I told you to move on this. We'll never land this account, and now you're through with this firm. Uh, uh, Mr. Fowles Head, I don't have your quote, and it would be physically impossible for me to get it so quickly. So I guess I'm just gonna pack up my desk and get out of here. Uh, Mr. Fowles Head, would you like to try a piece of this new gum? Why, sure, Johnny. Yes, they're talking about bipolar gum. It puts two, two personality moods back into one. From Globico Pharmaceuticals, 
Warning, Glovico will not be held responsible for any and all possible damage done to minds permanently stuck in neutral, unable to feel either joy or sorrow, turning you from a bipolar human to an unfeeling robot. Bipolar gum. Enjoy some now. 